This video is a demonstration of the configuration for a Windows 7 operating system uh, to prevent files from being executed, whether intentionally or unintentionally, from a USB drive that's plugged into the computer. This is especially useful in preventing viruses and other malicious software from being installed and transmitted to your computer. This procedure can also be reversed to allow installation of programs that require USB to work as a drive, such as a Tigo modem in Honduras. So in order to start this process, we go to Start, Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Local Security Policy, Software Restriction Policies, additional rules. Now, if there is nothing in this box, as there is here, because I've already configured this on this particular computer, you'll have to go to action and create new path rules or create new rules in order to uh, allow this to be editable. So now what we want to do is add specific drives that would be after your CD drive, which would be the drives that would be assigned when a USB thumb drive is, is inserted into the computer. So in order to do this, we go to Action, New Path Rule. And since this, has, this computer has a CD drive in it that would be D, we would, the, we would assign the first rule to E, which would be the first letter drive that would be assigned to a thumb drive being inserted. So we put E and put the security level as disallowed. Now, in case there were two or three USB drives in the same computer, we'd want to add several more uh, or se several sequential uh, drive letters. So again, right click, new path rule, F, capitalization is not important. Do this once again, new path rule, G, colon, OK. So now we have listed E, F, and G uh, as drives, and they're all disallowed. In order to remove this restriction, simply repeat the process to access this menu, right click and delete. If we do this for all three, then the computer security policies are back to the way it was set. This is a demonstration of configuration of Adobe Readers or Adobe Acrobat to prevent execution of files or running JavaScript from within a Adobe file. This is especially important because this is a vector for many, many viruses now, Trojan horses and banking Trojans from the internet. There is no reason why an Adobe Reader should need to execute another program in Windows or run JavaScript, except in very specific instances where a form is being filled out. So both of these should be absolutely always disabled anytime an Adobe file is read. In order to accomplish this, open the Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat as I have here, go to the Edit, Preferences, JavaScript, and make sure that this enabled Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Reader JavaScript is disabled. The next is down at the Trust Manager. And make absolutely sure that you do not allow opening of non-PDF file attachments for the external applications. This essentially means that an Adobe file can open and run any program on your computer, which is generally insane. This is a demonstration of configuration of Adobe Readers or Adobe Acrobat to prevent execution of files or running JavaScript from within a Adobe file. 
This is especially important because this is a vector for many, many viruses now, Trojan horses and banking Trojans, from the Internet. There is no reason why an Adobe reader should need to execute another program in Windows or run JavaScript, except in very specific instances where a form is being filled out. So both of these should be absolutely always disabled anytime an Adobe file is read. In order to accomplish this, open the Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat as I have here. Go to the Edit, Preferences, JavaScript, and make sure that this enabled Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Reader JavaScript is disabled. The next is down at the Trust Manager. And make absolutely sure that you do not allow opening of non-PDF file attachments for the external applications. This essentially means that an Adobe file can open and run any program on your computer, which is generally insane. 